in this video it's the GSA's turn for some love now as you can hear we've still got this um, squeaky thrust bearing so um, I'll pull the uh, spare wheel out oh. I believe I've got the right tools to get down here and adjust it uh, I may not film that but I'll have a go and then I'm going to do oil filter oil and filter so we've got the filter on top here that should be messy and uh, see where we are the sump plug there we go right in the back of the block so uh, we'll give that a go and uh, hopefully all will be well right oil has drained out let's see if I can get this in here Oh, it's a bit smaller than a Delica filter. Still not much room to operate. But uh, despite the fact you're only meant to do these up hand tight, somehow they're never hand tight to loosen, are they? Uh, typically I can't find my Perflux filter, which would be the perfect tool for the job. Nonetheless, this should work. Oh, great. Good grief, that shouldn't be that tight. Oh, whole car starting to move. Not ideal. to go but I'm starting to worry I'm gonna bend this thread first jeepers oh. now I'm gonna to have to stop filming oh this is a sod of a job ripping my gloves to pieces even these snag resistant grippers sliced my hands on this throttle cable down here I think I'm finally starting to get somewhere. Now what worries me is a nasty feeling this oil filter is just going to start gushing oil absolutely everywhere. When I try and lift it out, because I can't lift it straight out because there's various things in the way. I mean, no filters usually have non-return valves in them. So they keep some oil pressure rather than letting it all drain back to the engine. Oh God, what a sort of a job. Just look at the access. I mean, there is none. It's right in front of you. You've got this rack in the way. That's in the way. Throttle's in the way. These hoses are in the way. Oh dear. What a horrible job. Why, Citroen? Why? Oh, no, we're all right. You can get it out. That seal is bone dry. I think someone did not lubricate that on the way in. We won't make that mistake. I've been sent the wrong bloody filter. This is for a GSA. The internal thread is too tight. I thought it looked it, so I've given it the finger test too tight and sure enough it won't screw in place so that's bloody marvelous uh, hopeless uh, I think I'm gonna see if a 2CV one will fit for now because otherwise I've got no filter oh well I can't find a filter that will fit I uh, have no idea where my filters are in this stash I found plenty of ones that don't fit uh, I'm going to have to reuse the filter. Uh, I've flushed it out as best I can. Uh, you can't fill this one before you fit it because of the angle. So um, 
yeah just gonna have to make do i was planning on doing a short change anyway this is really just an interim oil change just because uh, i need this car to have a proper service at some point but i'm just gonna smear some fresh oil around that refit it fill the engine up oh why do i bother with old cars just to add to my woes um i've just had a message to say the rear strut mounts for the city rover have been sent which is a bit of a shame because i ordered fronts um so i've got back onto them uh, they're accidentally sending me some rears i don't need um they haven't got fronts in stock so the city rovers all up the swanee as well but um fresh oil is now in the gsa just have a quick glance at the uh dipstick that seems to be where it should be filter doesn't seem to be leaking i have already given it a run off camera but um you'll probably like it if i give it a run here and now Ooh, interesting but the good news is the clutch whistle has gone so my attempts at adjusting it down there in in the abyss seem to have worked so that's good news so we've got fresh oil in, we've got the clutch gone. Um, we'll, once all this lockdown nonsense is over fully, uh, I would like to actually take it to Chevronix. Chevronix are the people for these cars and uh, get them to do a full service on it uh, and see just how painful that is. They should have some tips and tricks that might make life easier. Uh, I'm gonna leave the clutch adjuster screws finger tight uh, I did that once in Ellie and that paid dividends because I managed to snap a clutch cable. Had the cable with me, didn't have any tools, but because I'd left the nuts only finger tight, I was able to change it in a car park. So, yeah. Um, you'll have seen another video with Ellie. She's just going to have to sit there and wait. All the others are going to have to wait their turn as well. Uh, poor blooming City Rover. What a pig. But I'm going to drive home now because I've frankly had enough. So, uh, yeah, GSA is running again it's only a short video really um i'm running out of battery power because i've mostly been filming what i've been doing with that one and this pair uh but uh, it's a long way to the unit i thought i'd try and get more than one video out of my visit but oh yeah it, it's um maybe i've got too many cars it has been said but how do you get rid of any of these i mean obviously i can't get rid of ellie because i've had her forever I can't get rid of Myrtle because I bought her brand new. That's the only car I've ever bought brand new. And I did sell her again, but I got her back and I'm happy to have her back. And um, I'm really, really pleased to have her again. Foxanne, um, I had a little res around the car park and my love is somewhat rekindled for Foxanne. Tuck, never sell Tuck. Uh, this I could sell, maybe, but um, it's worth nothing. Um, who knows? Uh, I mean, the interior on this is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I've got lots of spares to collect for this car as well, which I must sort out. Um, yeah, the GSA is a contender and the GSA could go, but at the moment, ignoring the Delica, it's my only functioning car. So um, there aren't many people who can say that of a 1986 Citroen GSA, but for me, that is the truth of the matter. I will say, getting at the um, adjusters, absolutely horrible. You need to somehow get on it Ooh. ouch one-handed with a short 16 and a short 19 mil set spanner fortunately i have these in my stash now i didn't um, not all that long ago but i do have them but trying to use these two one-handed absolutely impossible so what i ended up doing was using this small pair of grips on the upper nut the uh, 19 mil um, and I could lock that in place and then sneak the 16 on, prise them apart with my fingers. That's how I unlocked it. Absolute ball ache. But um, I'm just going to go and check. We're still showing good oil pressure in here. Yep, we've still got the alternator light on because that's just a fault. You'll notice I've fitted this. I don't like the look of it at all, but nor do I like um, how slippy the steering wheel is and how likely it is to degrade in sunshine. So that's what that's all about. Uh, but yeah, it's been uh, quite the day, really. So I'm going to wrap this one up, tidy up to a certain extent, stop the engine, check the oil again, and uh, yeah, go home. Oh, farewell.
that was lying, I admit. <laughs>